I've been asked this question a lot recently. With my 17 years of working in China, for example, how would I verify a supplier remotely? Although I speak of China, this could apply for any remote supplier anywhere in the world. This is extremely important no matter what product you're developing. One of the first things I would do is ask for references. We do it with employees, so why not with suppliers? If they can't hook you up with a person to speak with as a reference, I'd be a little wary. And of course, if you speak with the reference, you'll quickly gauge if they're a real customer or just some random guy they know. If your supplier has an established track record with another reputable company, as well as a recognized brand name, this will obviously go a long way towards establishing credibility. Check if they have a presence on major search engines. And what about on social media like Facebook and Instagram? or a B2B platform such as LinkedIn. Many companies who are thought leaders in their market may have a social media presence with regular feeds, updates, white papers, blogs, and other content that establishes their authority. And don't forget YouTube, which of course is one of the most popular platforms where manufacturers can demonstrate their capabilities. I always want to know if I'm gonna be getting real materials or not. Ask your potential supplier how they test their incoming materials. And the answer should be something like, oh, we've got an XRF gun, or we've got an FDIR machine, or some other similar materials testing equipment. Then ask them to immediately go to that department, put on the video cam and show you. If they can't, it's possible they don't have the equipment they claim to have. So maybe you should just walk away. I know from my own experience that many suppliers have pictures of PMI equipment on their websites, but they took those pictures during a demo and never actually bought the machine. Are they a bedroom agent? Ask the supplier to call you when he's in the office. If he's claimed that he has a factory and that he's currently in the offices of that factory, ask him to put on his video cam and walk you into the factory to have an impromptu tour. If he can't, then he's possibly a bedroom agent. Now, I personally have no problem with bedroom agents, just so long as they don't claim to be something else. Honestly, if you're serious about doing business with a supplier in a place that you cannot visit, you really should engage an auditor or an inspector to go out and visit on your behalf. I think it's inherently dangerous to place orders with a company that you've not personally or through a trusted third party inspected. Unless the company is obviously legitimate, has a big reputation or has lots of great references, you really are taking your life in your hands dealing remotely. One thing that is really awesome about China, for example, is that they have a fantastic government website where you can find out all the facts about any company in China. We've put a few links in the description below. You want to know the following. Who really owns it? The paid up share capital. What lawsuits have they been involved in? What property do they really own? And who actually owns the factory premises, for example? You would need a local language speaker to do the research for you, but it's free and it's very detailed. So obviously that isn't everything you can do. There are many other things you can look into, such as their uh, safety and cleanliness protocol, their approach to lean management, their patents, their learning and development regime, and so on. But it's a start. When it comes to qualifying a supplier remotely, attention to detail is critical. Hope this video provided you with some useful information that you can turn into action. So thanks for watching and listening, and I'll see you guys again soon for another Factory Insights video. Factory Insights with Gordon Styles.